the AI bubble is real. But here's the twist nobody's talking about. You're the one paying for it. Your bills, your taxes, your shopping cart. Every number creeping up quietly links back to a system built to serve machines first and people second. Now, let me ask you something. If you've never invested in AI, never trained a model, and barely even used ChatGPT, why are you still paying for it? Oh, that's the part nobody explains, not because the real AI bubble isn't just financial. It's structural. It's wired into your electricity, your inflation, and your economy. So today, we'll break it down. How AI is quietly draining the world's power grid. Why it's becoming the biggest money pit in corporate history. And how that cost quietly flows back to you. Let's start where it all begins. The energy that keeps the illusion alive. Every time AI answers a question, draws an image, or writes code, it burns electricity. Real, physical power. Right now, data centers use 1.5% of all electricity on Earth, about as much as the entire United Kingdom. And by 2030, that number is expected to double, as much as every home in Japan combined. Here's what's crazy. Most of that energy isn't fueling innovation. It's fueling redundancy. Billions of GPU cycles spent generating product descriptions, fake influencers, or slightly better filters. So here's the question. Is this really progress, or are we just paying for prettier noise? Meanwhile, the US grid is collapsing under old infrastructure, built in the 1970s, and running at only 15% spare capacity. China's at 100%. That's not a small difference. That's control of the next decade of AI. When power prices rise, everything rises your groceries, your rent, even your Wi-Fi plan. And when Microsoft or Google announces another data center, it doesn't just spike the stock market, it spikes your electricity bill. By 2027, data centers could consume power equal to 20 million homes. Think about that the next time you turn on your lights, because somewhere a server farm just blinked on too. Now let's talk about the money. Last year alone, Big Tech poured $344 billion into AI infrastructure. More than 10 Apollo missions every year. Except instead of landing on the moon, we're training algorithms to write LinkedIn posts or make cat memes. Here's what that means in plain English. Companies are building faster, bigger, smarter systems, but not enough people are using them profitably. Imagine a company builds a five-star hotel in the middle of a desert. Stunning architecture, empty rooms, pool always full, but nobody's swimming. Now picture thousands of these hotels, all burning energy 24-7, waiting for guests who never arrive. That's today's AI industry. OpenAI, Anthropic, Google DeepMind, they're all spending billions just to exist. Not to make money, but to not fall behind. Here's a question for you. If an industry keeps spending more money than it makes, is that growth or denial? And when debts come due, who pays? Not the investors, it's you. Through inflation, taxes, and power bills that never seem to go down. If you want finance explained without the jargon, hit subscribe. You'll understand the game before it plays you. Artificial intelligence doesn't just live in the cloud, it lives in your economy. Grocery prices are rising because energy costs drive logistics. Rents are rising because AI companies are buying up industrial land for data centers. Taxes are rising because governments are pouring billions into AI innovation subsidies. So even if you've never opened ChatGPT, your wallet has. Imagine your city builds a giant water park. It runs 24-7, empty 80% of the time, and you have never used it. But your water bill doubles, because the same system that serves you, serves the water park first. That's AI right now. A fun house for corporations, but paid for by everyone else. Should families struggling with rent fund trillion dollar tech dreams they never asked for? Or is this just the price of progress in a connected world? I genuinely want your take on this. Drop it in the comments. Here's the uncomfortable truth. This bubble isn't built on technology, I'd say it's built on fear. Fear of missing out. Fear of looking obsolete. Fear of being the last company without AI. That's why you see AI-powered slapped on toothbrushes, apps, and even coffee machines. An MIT study found 95% of AI projects don't make money. 95. Yet every CEO keeps signing new checks hoping their version will be the 5% that sticks. That's not innovation. That's gambling with better branding. What do you think? Is this another dot-com moment or is AI too big to fail? When money dries up, costs roll downhill, not landing on you. 
Every bubble leaves survivors. Dotcom gave us Amazon and Google. AI will too. Most AI startups will die, but the servers and power grids will remain. Like monuments to ambition. And guess who'll keep paying for the upkeep? You guessed it. Everyone else, including you. So, here's what we learned. AI isn't free. It runs on your power. AI isn't profitable. It runs on your taxes. And AI isn't sustainable. Not until someone admits who's really paying for it. So tell me in the comments, is this the future we want to fund? Or just another expensive illusion disguised as innovation? If you want to understand how money, power, and tech collide, hit subscribe. Because in a world built on hype, clarity is the best investment you can make.